Understanding a Fork in the Road, a Guide for English Learners. Hello everyone, welcome back to our English language learning series. Today, we're going to explore a very interesting English phrase, a fork in the road. This phrase is not just about a physical path, but it's rich in metaphorical meaning. Let's dive in and discover its various uses and significance in the English language. A fork in the road literally refers to a point in a road where it splits into two different directions. It's like coming to a Y-shaped intersection where you have to decide whether to go left or right. This is the most basic understanding of the phrase, but as we'll see, it's often used to represent much more than just a physical split in a path. In everyday English, a fork in the road is frequently used as a metaphor. It represents a point in life where you have to make a significant decision. This decision usually involves choosing between two distinct paths, which can lead to very different outcomes. For example, deciding between two jobs, whether to move to a new city, or choosing a field of study can all be described as facing a fork in the road. This phrase is also popular in literature and media, often used to symbolize critical moments in a character's journey. In storytelling, a fork in the road might represent a crucial turning point for the protagonist, where their decision can change the course of the story. This usage highlights the importance of choices and their consequences in our lives. Culturally, a fork in the road resonates with the idea of life being a journey. It emphasizes that life is full of choices, and each choice leads us down a different path. This phrase encourages the understanding that decisions are an integral part of life's journey, shaping our experiences and destiny. I hope this explanation helps you understand the phrase, a fork in the road, and its various uses in the English language. Remember, it's not just about a split in a road, but a powerful metaphor for life's choices and turning points. Thanks for watching, and I hope this video has been enlightening. Stay tuned for more interesting English language explorations.